echoing uh, Dave uh, in his comments, I actually am very encouraged to hear about different policies and the attention <clears throat> that is given to uh, looking into improvement of both policies and implementation of policies. Uh, and, and the fact that some of you are updating them is a very encouraging thing. But at the same time, I would like to reiterate actually what Special Rapporteur James Anaya said here, UN Special Rapporteur James Anaya said here on Wednesday afternoon session, that it is important, that language also is important, and that UN agencies and multilaterals, development banks, should update their policies and also use the language that is consistent with the UN declaration, the UN DRIP. Um, I would actually uh, like to therefore inquire at, and perhaps go more to the point of perhaps the challenges <clears throat> that how, for instance, the World Bank, Bank does intend to address uh, the wide actually gaps in implementation that you have referred to, which were identified actually and documented during the internal evaluations, <clears throat> that is, little or no recognition of land rights, for instance, and weak documentation of the broad community support. The land issue is, of course, one very important thing, and for recognizing indigenous peoples' uh, customary rights to their land, territories, and related resources. Um, I underline this importance right now, not only because it's central to the indigenous peoples, of course, uh, and to the recognition of their rights, <clears throat> but also because it is a central issue to the bank's development agendas. The prominence of land is, for instance, evident in the World Bank operations across all sectors, and I presume this is true also in a large part of the other banks' operation as well. The problem with the bank's approaches to indigenous peoples' land rights now is that their land rights are only recognized in, special circumstance, in specific circumstances. All multilaterals are actually banks are weak in terms of recognizing indigenous peoples' land rights. Uh, a little continuing, uh, a particular the World Bank has, as we all know, increased its activities in the sector of projects as oil, gas and mining, the sector of extractive industries, uh, we see a lot of tensions and conflict with regards to indigenous peoples. Not only, of course, here in the forum, but also the two other indigenous Pacific mechanisms within the UN system, the Special Rapporteur and the Expert Mechanism, have been occupied with investigating uh, many negative impacts from industries and operations uh, have had on indigenous communities. And therefore, I would like the reiterate and to highlight the need for the bank and all the banks to fully recognize and of course also act upon the fact that land is central to the survival and well-being of indigenous peoples and that indigenous peoples are particularly vulnerable uh, and risk for becoming forcibly evicted from their lands in operations which receive support from the bank. <clears throat> 